Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to Monday Marbling. Be sure to say hi when you pop on. Let's see if I can find it. Find the live. That's always a challenge. Oh, my eye is twitching. All right, come on. Well, hopefully I can find the live so that um, I'll be able to see comments. <coughs> Excuse me. it is. Great. So how is everyone today? Let's see, let me get the make sure I have comments. I am happy that the fun part of Monday has finally arrived. The work part at the office is never my favorite. Be sure to say hello when you pop in. Let's see, let me, well, I'm waiting to see if anyone will pop on. I'll go ahead and clean the tank. All right. Oh, I guess it's about time to take out the trash. The garbage can's getting kind of heavy. All of this wet, um, hi Shelly, welcome. All of the wet newspaper in there, the, it puddles kind of in the bottom and it gets pretty heavy. So in order to get started, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera down. Um, if you don't know me, my name is Linda Anderson. I own Aqueous Silk LLC. I'm a water marbling artist and general crafter. So tonight is our Monday marbling session. Thank you, Shelly. I appreciate that. And um, I'll get started. The first item we are going to do, hold on, we're going down, is uh, the beer glass from last week. I did wash it so we could try again. I did make the water a little bit deeper this time. Make sure that's good. No, not quite. Not quite where it needs to be. All right. There we go. That's better. So I have, I left the colors out here from last week because I did like the colors. But, um... I didn't like that the water wasn't deep enough and there was that ring around the top. So we're going to start with a metallic silver. That looked so pretty on the blue of that glass. And then we're going to put a little bit of this blue. Come on. There we go. Almost out of this blue. I'm going to have to mix some more. Oh, make it all kinds of bubbles. And you know I dislike bubbles. Okay, that's going to have to be all. Because I've got bubbles in all of these uh, drops of paint. 
This is acrylic paint dropped onto the surface. Come on. So I have to admit, guys, I did not walk yesterday. I could have walked yesterday. But I got up and made my husband some, uh, and maybe I put in the, uh, let's try this again. I uh, made some breakfast for Father's Day. And then, oh, I boo-booed. I had the gray, not the, uh, not the blue. And it's sinking. The silver is sinking tonight. This is only one little spot right here that the silver did not sink. I should have started with the silver. I thought that's what I did, but I started with the gray. So I'm going to pop these bubbles. Isn't that funny? You just never know. It's cool here today. It was like uh, 58 when I was leaving the office. And it was raining when I went in. I guess we really got a storm here at the house today. I have one little dot right there of the, the silver. Yeah, the gray and the silver look just almost identical. And I grabbed the wrong one. I'm going to see if I can get it. Let's try a couple more. No. So if I touch it to the water, instead of dropping it, it's floating. Isn't that funny? You just never know what you're going to get. Now, see, I dropped that one, and it didn't want to uh, float. Such a finicky art form. Sometimes all of that can be very frustrating. But I've learned to kind of go with the flow here. So I just want quite a bit of this uh, metallic in here. So I'm going to keep going. So I hope you all had a wonderful um, weekend and celebrated the fathers and father figures in your life. I was able to talk to my dad yesterday. Okay, I'm going to wait. See the little dots in the center of these silver? I'm going to wait until it disperses. That means it's taking a long time for it to float out. And I'll just wait and give it, make sure that it's all completely dispersed before I start moving the paint around. This is an exercise in patience because you know I want to start swirling right now. Isn't that funny that it would not drop from up above, but if I touched it to the surface, it worked. I'll have to remember that technique. I don't think I've ever tried that before when something doesn't doesn't float immediately when I drop it. Still waiting for it to uh, finish. So did anyone, ha um, I guess I should say happy Juneteenth to those who celebrate. We I had to work today. I did not have the day off. The upside of that was that traffic was not terrible today because most people did have the day off. So 
So there, I've just watched these two completely dissipate. So we're getting there. Here's one that's complete and there's another and here's one. So anywhere you see these little dots, we're still waiting on that. So I've got to devise a better way to keep my beer glass on the turner. I fought with it and fought with it um, when I was prepping it. So I'm hoping to, to try a different, um, you know, fitting on the end of my turner to make it stay on. I've, I've got an idea. I need to... a. a a device that I want to try to figure out. I know what would make it work, but uh, I have the idea for it. I just need somebody to make it. Because I'd like to, you know, when I like to do tumblers that are this size, the big water bottle, the 30 some ounces, and uh, those are not easy on the turners either. And I, the, the same tool that I think would work for that will work for a beer glass, theoretically, and anything else, actually. So we are still waiting. I love it. There's one tiny little dot of silver right there. I see more and more are this one here. There's three of them right here. And that one's empty. That one's empty. This one is. This one, this one. So we're getting there. And now we're going to do um, two more stemless wine glasses. And we're going to do two pairs of shoes. So be thinking about colors. I was looking at the hat that we made last week. I really do not like it. I'm just not happy with the way it turned out at all. So I've got to figure out what I can do with the ones I don't like. The, flower, the flowers were just too large. Oh, patience. Getting closer. If I marble on the glass, uh, no, they're not baby shoes. They are adult shoes and child size shoes. Oh, and I forgot to look up the size. Anybody know what size? Um, 26 and children's is I forgot to look that one up I can google it really quickly when we get there yeah I thought maybe you'd be happy to see something other than um, glassware and butterflies Okay, this end looks really good. I have a couple more down here. And I'm trying to decide if I want to try um, the flowers again on a hat. It is for me, Shelley. Patience is so hard. I just want to swirl it. <laughs> I just can't decide what I want to do. If I want to try again, I'd have to I'm going to use different colors if I do. Okay. 
Okay, this one's done. This whole end here is done. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six left. And that one's done. There we have another one done. The slower that it disperses like this, ooh, this one more. It means there's quite a bit of paint on the surface, so it's taking a minute because it's harder for it to push out. Come on, you can do it. Yay! Is it nine and a half, kids? Thank you very much, Gloria. And I'll have to show you a funny, or tell you a funny about the adult shoes. When we get there. Now I'm almost thinking I should drop a little bit more uh, blue on here. Went just a little bit crazy with the silver. Here we go. So it'll just have a little bit of that darker blue. One bubble. See now see how quickly that dispersed. Oh, I guess I should uh, sprinkle out my video, huh? So this is light blue, a darker blue, a metallic, a silver, and gray. This what looks like white right here is actually gray. All right. Here we go. Okay, this is it. The navy tumbler. And there it is. Oh my goodness. That metallic shows up so well. All right, let me go get it over here on the floor, on the in the tray. And the, when you saw the paint go inside the glass, I, that easily comes out. So I'm not worried about that at all. All right. Get some of this off my hands. And there is project number one. I'm so much happier with it. It's still very, very pretty. And like I always do, I'll show a video as it sits in the drying tray. And these are the floral frogs that I use to set them on. See how they're just some bunch of little pins? And they just sit right on the bottom. They really don't disrupt the pattern too much, except when sometimes there's a little bit of color on here, you might get a little color on the bottom. 
not enough to worry about. Or at least I don't worry about it. should plug this in. Hold on. It's going to jiggle. There. I turned it up. Maybe you can hear me a little better. I always forget to get my headphones. They're in my purse. I use them every day. But I forget to put them on when I'm going to come marbling. do the adult size shoes next. Getting rid of the bubbles. There's a little bit more blue right up here on this end. So let me get a paper towel. See, I didn't want that flowing back into the uh, tank. Okay. So now, getting my dropper. I know what colors I believe I want to use with this. And we're gonna start with red. Now I can see that the um, red has pushed a little bit of blue right there. So let me get a paper towel. And I'll just dab that right off the surface. Okay. Now the, I see a little bit of silver, but it won't matter for this. Uh, metallics will not work on cloth. And these are canvas shoes. When I was prepping these yesterday, I always um, tape off the soles once they're dry. And I wear a size 6 shoe. And I was looking at the shoes. And they say they are a size 5. And I'm like, there is no way on the planet that that's a size 5. It's printed right on the inside, size 5. And they are, well, when you wear a size 6, they're quite large. And so I got out the measuring tape. Let me grab my other colors. Let me see. So I got out the measuring tape and I measured them and they're like almost nine and a half inches long. And I looked it up and that is a size nine or nine, between nine and nine and a half. That's not a size five. There's no way that's even close to a size five. So these shoes are going to be, um, they're a ladies nine, nine and a half. They are, um, they have the elastic for the um, laces. There's, so there's no laces to tie. Come on. Yeah. 
You'll see them here in just a second. But I had to laugh at that size five. I think they were on the sale rack when I grabbed them and now I know why. Okay, these will be red, white, and blue. Should I comb them or should I just freestyle? Any opinions tonight? Yeah, the bottoms are always the coolest. Comb it, okay. There's one, Holly says I should comb it. Combing is my favorite too. Okay. Whoops, I almost did a freestyle. After all that. This is Gil Get, the standard pattern back and forth. It feels backwards when I say uh, Gil Get feels like it should be get gel, but it's gel get. I always get that mixed up. So my, my, hopefully my red will look fairly red since I put it in first, and that's why I added it first. Usually you'll see me add white first. Just to add another gallon of water to it. That'll thin it down. It's just going to be super thick. Yep, absolutely. Just, just add another, mix another gallon of water in there and that should, or even maybe three quarters of a gallon. And you should be, it should be just fine. Let's see, where's my... And sometimes, especially in the um, summertime, you may want to start out a little bit thicker Just because it thins, depending on, you know, if you're inside, it shouldn't be too bad. How did this thing slide over? Sorry for the jiggling. Trying to get it back in position. Okay. So these babies are the size five according to the label but there's no way on the planet that that's a size five. Oh yeah heat and humidity Kathy both things that impact this so don't let it frustrate you too quickly. You'll need to learn exactly what your mixture is for your area. I have to change mine if I'm working outside in the summer versus if I'm working in the house. So when I print shoes, I always do them opposite. Don't ask me why. I always have. I just like the way it's random like that. So here we go. So there they are. And I take them right from here into the rinse bucket. 
And once I get the bags out of the inside, they'll look so much better. And the tape off of the, uh, the, uh, the rubber part. These things are so huge. Now, and I don't mean to offend anyone that wears this size shoe, but for me, they're, they feel huge. Um, they don't even fit very well in my bucket. So again, they're a size nine, nine and a half. <laughs> All right, let me grab the, uh, baggie and I'll put them in the baggie and we'll clean this up. The, the, I love the way the elastic took it, took the uh, marble. Yeah, it even has size five printed on the bottom of these things. <laughs> Look how they fill this gallon bag. those up right there and let them uh, just drip and let's get this one cleaned up now before I had children I wore consistently a size five and a half usually a five and a half wide because my uh, foot's a little wide in the front but I have a narrow heel, of course. And um, post children, I wear a six. So on that beer glass, once I epoxy over that uh, silver, it should be gorgeous. a few bubbles. Hey Angie, how are you tonight? I didn't get to see your project yet today. I will go take a peek at it later. Yeah, I was on my way home. I was driving home when it came on. Thank you. I appreciate it, Angie. Okay, so what color do we want to do? Um, hi, Cassie. What color do we want to do the child's shoe? So these are the size 26. I think I was told they're also a nine and a half in kids. And they, they have the elastic across the toe as well. You, no tying involved. So we just need to determine the colors. Oh, we can do that. See what color? I think it's just my colors. Red. Turquoise. Teal. Wonder if I can get a little bit of this blue out of there. And white. Okay, so we're going to start with the red again. Now, I'm not going to do gold and purple. I have purple and yellow from last time we did kids' shoes. And those are a size 7. 
So yeah, that's probably about right. A nine is probably about right. If you can believe the branding on the shoe. Okay, so I wanted to use this red first. Again, with the red. I think by, um, if I can get my act together and actually get some good photographs, I will have the purple and gold um, tumbler listed this weekend. Feels like a lot of red in there and there doesn't even show. Let's put a little white in. Let's do some of this dark teal. Look how teal just pushes everything. But look how it's making the red show up a little better. Oh, come on, just a little bit more. Let's see what happens if I can do this. No, it's going to say I'm just empty. Pick a different blue. All right, fine. Let's pick a different blue. Not that one. Feels like there's a little bit in this one. Let's put in a little bit more of that blue. Little paint booger got in there. Not welcome. There, look at the red. It's finally looking red. And my hand is very colorful. Hi, Tammy. This is kind of, my hat is kind of the color I do all of my um, branding stuff for uh, my business and teals and red. Uh, red is my very favorite color, red and pink. And I like teal as well, so when I was selecting brand colors, I wanted the blue to go with, you know, the water. And I had to get either red or pink in there, so I chose red. So we are just... 
doing a nice freestyle here. And I'm hoping the red is actually going to look red. Now, if you have followed me in a while, you know that reds are so persnickety. And a lot of times they look pink. That's why I put the red in first to hopefully get it pushed enough. So we shall find out. So here's the shoes. Again, I like putting them in opposite. Let's see. Let's see what we can get. I think I'm going to do them right here. So they took very, very well. I'm very pleased. Look at the way the um, elastic took. So, and the red is fairly red. It does not look pink. And right in the rinse bucket they go. Let me grab a a baggie to put them in and then I just thanks Shelly I just put them in um, a Ziploc bag and then after I'm done tonight I will pull this the, I just have um, you know like plastic bags from the store tucked inside of them to kind of keep the color on the outside and I'll pull that out and I will um, Thank you, Holly. Thanks, Kathy. I'll rinse them again and then set them to dry. Okay, so there's that. Let me get this cleaned up. I need to remember to empty my trash can tonight. So that was quite fun. So next we're going to do... The stemless wine glasses. So I need to pick a color. I'm not sure what color to do. I guess I haven't done any green ones, have I? I do have um, some stemmed wine glasses that are green. Let me get those. I'll show you. So this is how this I do the stemmed glasses. I just stop at the bottom. And so only the stems are done. So this one's a green and a yellow. It looks really pretty, even if I say so myself. I have done that same color combination on uh, champ champagne flutes but I only have one of those left. That's already in my Etsy store. But I haven't listed the wine glasses yet. I have several greens, so I can, we can do it in green and No, it does not come in the plastic bottles. It comes in um, all kinds of bottles or in tubes. I buy it in different. This is a thinner paint when it's purchased. This is a thicker paint. Takes longer to um, mix it and get it the right consistency. This one comes ready to marble. There's nothing you have to do to that. This is the paint that comes in the kits that I sell. So there's no 
messing with the paint, it's ready to go. Um, I mix it, it can come, this again is a thinner paint, it comes in a bottle already. You pay more when it's already thinned down some. So I a lot of times will buy the heavy body paints in the tubes. But I have learned that paint has a shelf life. And especially when I was going to shows, that didn't uh, surprise me because it was hot and then some places it was cold at night. And if we did a two day show, we'd leave it out at night. So it you know, had several heat cycles on it. And that really degrades the paint over time. So let's see. I'm tempted to do a fluorescent green and a fluorescent yellow on there. Should I try the pink with it too? Should I try this? That looks like it might be kind of fun, huh? Oh, of course, Kathy. Yeah, no, I buy these when I mix them. And I've also learned to uh, write the color on the bottle because if you have to replace it, there's so many um, that look the same, you can get yourself into trouble. Ask me how I know. And I cannot believe how many reds there are, and they all look alike to me. Okay. So, me being who I am, I am going to do the pink first, and then we'll add the green and yellow. And I am only going to do one glass per um, tank. I will not reuse the tank, even if I'm using the same colors. Hey, Joni, how are you? Good to see you. Yeah, I'll probably come back in with the pink at the end. It's weird because uh, the yellow, ooh, look at that. The yellow and the uh, green look a lot alike on the, on the surface. We'll have to see how they look when, uh, good. I'm glad to hear that. How are the animals? Are you starting to get the heat down there? Okay, here we go. Keep your fingers and toes crossed that this works because I think it's going to be pretty. <laughs> yeah, we've had a few in the 90s actually already, but we were 58 today for, I think that my husband said the uh, high got to like 61. I never saw that, but uh, I wasn't paying attention either. I was working, doing things that were not nearly as fun as this. I am not ready for the hot weather yet. Okay, let's go get the first one. I'm excited.
Okay. Here we go. So I can't tell. So it looks like the yellow shows. It looks like the green isn't showing up, but it may once it dries. So remember the other pink ones I did that I washed off I didn't like at all? This one I do like. So I put a glove on because, you know, I spray the, um, oh gosh, I could almost do the other one in here. Let's do this. I spray the, um, the glassware and I just don't want to rub any off. So that's why I put the glove on. We're going to just add some more paint over here. Look at it push. Because this green, I mean, look at the green and yellow on here. They're way different colors. Let's do a little bit, <laughs> a little bit more pink. This just makes me happy. All right, that's enough. Oh, I agree. Oh, I have a hat to do. Hi, Michelle, how are you today? And if I miss your comments, I'm not playing favorites. I'm just, when I work and I can't see my phone, so they only stay up for a minute on my iPad and then they're gone. Now, we will have to try that. These colors are just making me happy. Okay, let me go get the other cup. I need to make sure my glove is completely dry. And get a dry towel. If the cup gets wet, it will not take the paint. So I have to make sure my glove is very, very dry. Here we go. <laughs> this makes me so happy. So I can't wait to see these dry. The blue ones turned out so wonderful. Oh, that's awesome, Michelle. I didn't, I haven't gone today. It looks like I might be able to go after I'm cleaned up here. And um, I didn't go yesterday. Yeah, I agree. I like this second one better. But let's see how it dries. I can always wash the lighter one and we can do it again. Now, if you remember, I did the glittered tumbler in this same color pattern, 
and it turned out really good. Yeah, one definitely took better than the other, so we'll probably do th this um, one of these again next week. I got my got my glove off. Okay, so let's clean this up. Interesting. You know, I just have no idea why I, both cups are prepped exactly the same. But one took the paint differently. And I don't know it's because I just had a little bit more paint in there the second time, which could be. Obviously, since I'm using the same colors, I don't have to make sure all of it's out, but I want to start with a nice, fresh tank. And see how that pink is hugging right along the edge? But in this instance, it won't matter at all. Ordinarily, I would wipe it all out, but for this one, I don't care. Yeah, I agree, Louise. The second one looks much better. So I'm gonna put down a little bit of white first just to make sure that my colors are nice and bright. Just starting with a little bit extra paint. Let's start with, let's start with the yellow first this time. You know, this little bottle is like $10. They're so expensive. I try to get mine. I have a couple places I can get it. But when I want it and I want it now, I go to Michael's and hopefully it's on sale. I'm going to put a little bit more yellow in there. Boy, look how the green pushed that yellow. All right, now we're going to add the pink. And I didn't even take the time to transfer or do anything to these paints. They float very nicely right out of the bottle. Not all colors will do that. What do you think? Does that look good? Does it need more of something? There's a bubble back there. Let's put in Of course I would opt for one more drop of pink. I have not I do have some uh, Michelle. I have not tried them yet. I bought them thinking they were um, oil based paints. And then I got to reading the, the bottle when I got them, and then it said you need the medium and the prep. So I don't know if the medium and the prep is exactly how I do it. So I haven't done anything with them yet. I only have like three colors because I was just going to try it.
Okay. Grab the hat. So I really like this right here for the front. So I'm gonna put it in just like this. It's just a white canvas hat. The ones that have the mesh on the back, you can marble those as well. And if you have larger hands, Yes, I um, seal them, I spray seal them, and then I put epoxy over it. That's a food safe epoxy. All right, here we go. If your hands are bigger than mine, you'll have an easier time. And there we go. That turned out super nice. Look at the top of it. Oh, I love it. Great idea, Joni. I would have gone on to something else. but And you can see the green here. Here's the green and here's the yellow. The green is just not as strong as the yellow is. So again, just right into the bucket of uh, water, just regular old tap, wa tap water, if I can speak English here. And then I rinse it off and I'll rinse it off again under the tap. into the bag it goes. That one's really pretty. I know, I say that with all of them, don't I? Yeah, it's pretty bright right now. It probably doesn't come across that way. I hope it stays nice and bright, I think it will. Okay, throwing paints. So let me clear this off. I think, oh, shall we try the butterfly again today? You sick of me trying to master this silly thing? I keep meaning to do it, um, practice a little bit on the weekend, but I never remember until I'm on my way to work on Monday. Okay, let's get this cleaned up and we'll practice that butterfly. So if you are new, this is Ebru Water Marbling, floating uh, acrylic paint on the surface of the water. And tonight I've put it on um, a beer glass, two stemless wine glasses, a hat and two pairs of shoes. All right. And I know all of this does not matter because unless it's beautiful, I'm not going to print it. Now I have to turn the tank, so I will try to make sure that it stays in view. Let me get a drink of water. Thank you, Pat. I appreciate that. Let me scoot these guys over a little bit. I did my first uh, glitter butt on a tumbler. You know, I bling tumblers and um, people put glitter on the bottom of it and they call it a glitter butt. And I had never done that before, so I was very nervous about it. I was worried it was going to be, ooh, this is heavy. It was going to be too, um, 
you know, it would be too much and it would make it not, uh, let's see, I'm trying to scoot it so you get a, the full view there. That's pretty good. Um, so it wouldn't, it would sit nicely and um, I seem to do okay. But it, I just think it's funny, a, a glitter butt. So I've got my glitter sitting here because I had stuff on the turner upstairs and I needed something to put over it to keep any dust or anything out of the glitter. So I used this other tank, turned it upside down over it, and it turned out pretty well. I was surprised. Okay, so we are going to start with white. Want to take any bets on if the uh, weather holds so I can get a walk in tonight? I felt so guilty for not walking yesterday, but after I made breakfast and got that cleaned up, I just didn't feel like getting up and going out. I should have made myself do it anyway. Okay, nice full white base. Where's my black? There it is. Now, instead of dropping, I'm going to try to use my tool and try to control how much paint goes down. Try being the... Now, I used to have a tool that was a little bit thicker than this one. We had a, an emergency on the way to a show one day, and so we used it, and it, it got all bent and ruined, so I don't have that big thick one anymore. Now, look at that. It didn't hardly do anything because I've got, let's try dropping one. It's, I tell you, it's either too little or it's too big. Remember the first one I did when I tried this, it took over the entire tank. All right, get the lid turned. We're going to try with just that little. Now, I bet if I use, let's use this one. Oh, let me use the uh, tool. And I'm intentionally making it smaller than I have been. This is the neon orange that I'm using. Okay. Let me use a little bit more black.
I'm sorry, I'm going to concentrate and I'm going to forget to talk. Try not to dump the black paint onto the floor. And I will get the lid back on. Maybe. Okay, so now I want to try some of this turquoise. Now this is a pushy, pushy, pushy color, so let's see what happens. Just a little bit more black in there. Again, I'm intentionally making it small or keeping it, trying to keep it small. Seems to be doing better with this than it did the actual dropping it. And I think I also put a little bit heavier base on the water. So that's helping hold this in the center better. All right. Oh, if this turns out and I don't have anything to put it on, because I have not have nothing prepped, of course. But then I'll know better next time. Okay. So now I'm going to take... I need a fresh paper towel. It looks like it's, it's sunny out there, but it looks like it wants to storm. The gel get again. Now we will comb it. This poor little thing. My little comb is just, it's a little uh, wonky. Okay, so now let's see if we can start shaping this guy. smaller one. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. And there's no color in what I just added. Okay. So now let me use the smaller one yet. See if I can get a little bit of wing. All right. 
lid. So if I put this on something white, this was is where the body is going to go. I think it would be okay. Okay, let me try to add a few antenna, couple antenna, and I have a very, very fine one I use for antennas. Does it look like a butterfly at all? Or it just looks like a squiggly mess? Boo! So let me pull the wings out a little bit. Let's see, I don't think I have any paper prepped at all, and I hate to waste a piece. Let's see. Let's use this. going to try to get it right in here in this blank area and see how it looks when it's printed. Oh, I forgot to take a photo of it. Can somebody screenshot that for me? That's not too bad. I'm getting better. Remember my first one? It took up the whole entire tank and just looked like a mess. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. Um, oh, here I'll just do this. There, I just set it right there beside me on the trash can. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, Diana, Michelle. Thanks, Tammy. Oh, that was fun. That was exciting. It actually almost looks like a butterfly when it's printed. I'm definitely getting better. Okay, hold on. Going for a ride.
I'm pretty excited about that. I'm proud of myself. So the I see the pink. There wasn't a lot of uh, color showing. The orange and the teal and the black were the primary. So I really need to, color placement's going to be a big thing. But thank you, Holly. I appreciate that. Um, it's definitely better. Definitely better. So I'm excited. I, now I can't wait till next week because I have an idea I want to try with this if I ever get it figured out. So that's all I have for tonight, guys. We will wash off or I will wash off that one, that first stemless glass and we'll reprint that next week. And I don't know what all else we're going to do next week. So stay tuned and um, see what's happening next Monday night for Monday Marbling. I appreciate each and every one of you for being here. And I wish you all a wonderful week. Remember, if you see someone without a smile, give them one of yours. doesn't cost you anything. may just make their day. And it makes you feel wonderful too. So take care, everyone. I hope to see you back next week. Take care. Bye.